Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for binomial distribution. So here we have the example, if x is binomially distributed with the n is equals to 15, and the probabilities of success is equals to 0 0.75. Find the situation. So if we notice that we have the normal distribution with n15 and probabilities of success is equals to 0 0.75. So as we all know, based on the binomial distribution table, the maximum value is provided until 0 0.5. So for this case, we are going to use the opposite situation, where we can name the situation y is binomially distributed with n is equal to 15, and the probability of failure will be equal to 0 0.25. Means that we modify the situation. So the title has been modified. So same goes to the situation. A, where we have the properties that x is less than or equals to 6. That is for success. So what if we want to convert the situation or opposite the situation? So it will become x is less than or equals to 6. If we opposite the situation, properties that y is greater than or equals to 9. How can we get the 9? Because by using the 15 minus the 6. As we all know, 6 is the success. So 9 will be the failure. So that will be the situation. So by referring to the binomial distribution table, where we have n is equal to 15 and the probabilities will be equal to 0 0.25. And we let it as a p. So by referring to the situation where we have the n is equal to 15. So here we have the situation n is equal to 15. Next, what we have to do is to find the probabilities of p, where we have 0 0.25, which is represent the failure. Next, what we have to do is to focus on this part, where we have 0 0.25 as the probabilities of p. So the question said, probabilities that y is greater and equals to 9. So in here, we have the 9. So the probability will be 0 0.0042. So that will be the situation for y greater than equals to 9. So we will have probabilities that y greater equals to 9 will be equals to 0 0.0042. So that will be the answer for A. Next, kindly refers to B, where we have probabilities that x is equals to A. So opposite the situation, and we will have probabilities that y is equals to 15 minus 8, and we will have 7. By using the binomial distribution table, the formula would be probabilities that y greater equals to 7 minus probabilities that y greater equals to 8. So by referring to the table, so here we have the table 7, we have 0 0.0566 and we have 8, 0 0.0173. So here we have the situation. 0 0.0566 minus 0 0.0173. So if we simplify the situation and we will have 0 0.0393 for the situation, probabilities that y equals to 7, or we can say probabilities that x is equals to 8. So that will be the answer for question B. So kindly refers to the question C, where we have the probabilities that x is greater than 3. Opposite the situation, so probabilities that y is less than, so for here, we will have used the 15 minus 3, where we have 12. Do remember, this is the discrete case, so means that sign is very important, so kindly modify the situation. Probabilities that y is less than and equals to 11. So by using the table, it is the greater than table. So the formula would be 1 minus probabilities that y is greater than equals to 12. So kindly look from the table where we have the probability y is greater than or equals to 12. So kindly refers to the situation where the n is equals to 15 and the p is equals to 0 0.25. Where we are looking for y is greater than or equals to 12. So based on this part, it is empty means that it is 0. For y is greater than or equals to 12. So meaning that in here, 1 minus 0. So the probability is that y is less than 12 or 
Properties that x is greater than 3 is equals to 1. Kindly refers to the question D, where we have the probabilities that x is less than 7. So opposite the situation, where we have y is greater than 15 minus 7, and we will obtain 8. So do remember, this is the discrete situation. So psi is very important. Kindly modify the situation. Probabilities that y is greater than equals to 9. So by referring to A, where we have the situation 0 0.0042. So the probability is that y is greater than 8, or the probability is that x is less than 7, the probability will be equals to 0 0.0042. So here we are, and thanks for watching.